We did our first transaction, processed our first million, first 10 million, 100 million. Now we stopped losing track. It just certainly shows that there is a want and need for our product. People are, are using it. We believe there's a massive opportunity, huge market potential that is untapped here. My name is Zach. I am the co-founder and CEO of Curlec. We are a Malaysia-based fintech company that makes it really easy for businesses of all sizes to collect payments, predominantly recurring payments, uh, and ultimately take control of that cash flow. So initially when we started off the business in 2018, the big problem that we're trying to solve is that many businesses in Malaysia face problems with cash flow. It's difficult to collect money as a business. You know, so take if you are uh, invoicing your customer every month, you've got to invoice to them, then you have to chase payments. And you often get late payments and stuff like that because you're often relying on your customer to push payments to you. In our case, what we enabled many businesses to have access to is direct debit. And in the case of direct debit, you get your customer to fill in a one-time authorization, which then subsequently says, hey, on such and such date, I'll allow you to pull the payments from my account, which means that I get paid on time, I don't have to spend all that money, you know, chasing late payments. Better control of my cash flow. Earlier this year, uh, we just announced that Razorpay from India acquired a majority stake in our business, and we are the first international acquisition and expansion for Razorpay from India. They are the largest processor of real-time payments in the world. We're part of their Southeast Asia expansion plan. We see a big fundamental shift going on with payments in the region. If we look at Malaysia, it's sort of, you know, just the, the, the first step. It's estimated by 2025, the market size for online payments and e-commerce will be uh, $30 billion. We're looking at that market and we believe that it's a growing pie. We want to serve our businesses uh, in this space better. With real-time payments, you know, it's fundamentally going to change uh, how things are processed and operated in this part of the world. In terms of what we do, we're a cloud-based payments company. So, you know, from day one, we've always had to build something that could scale. Working with someone like Alibaba Cloud, we don't have to think about scalability because Alibaba, you know, it's, it's easily scalable. And a lot of, you know, other security things that, you know, we, we rely on uh, Alibaba Cloud too. So it's really helped our business scale um, and subsequently also the merchants we, we, we serve. So with Asia Forward, it gives many early stage startups the opportunity to firstly get exposure uh, but then subsequently also you know, have the ability to work with the technology that Alibaba Cloud provides. I think with the pitching experience I had, our experience was positive. There have been some great startups to go through the program, also some great mentors some panelists and judges and stuff. You know, and I think on the whole beneficial you know, for, for startups who have just started out. You speak to many, many entrepreneurs who are constantly looking for brand exposure, funding, sales leads, etc. And things like the Asia Forward program, you know, certainly give uh, startups at an early stage the opportunity to, to get that at a much greater scale than they would do, you know, having to do this themselves. With technology, obviously I take a very much B2B skew on these things and how we can improve people's lives, businesses' lives, etc. And I think often what technology is trying to solve are those mundane, repetitive, administrative tasks that you don't really want a human to do. I think a lot of what digitization is doing is solving that. A lot more businesses, even traditional businesses, are starting to see that. All these tasks that you know, we can move online and make our lives easier, we should do. And I think you know, people are starting to realize that.